Hey everybody. Windows 10 1809, the October delayed to November 2018 update, has been known to not be the best version of Windows 10. Matter of fact, it's been known to be probably the worst version of Windows 10. It was released in early October 2018 and then was later pulled not even a week later because of issues <laughs> including unintended file deletion. People would upgrade to this version of Windows 10 and find that their documents or pictures are gone and stuff like that. So they had to pull the update because of issues that they failed to notice during testing. And also they had an issue with the uh, zip archive that's built into the um, operating system. Among other things, well, they quote unquote fixed those issues, but even after they released it, re released it, there are still other bugs in Windows 10 1809. And I say, and it's safe to say that Windows 10 1809 is the new Windows Vista or the new Windows ME because there are lots of this various bugs in the operating system. For example, my HP Pavilion Sleep Look 15. Upgraded this to Windows 10 1809 and the sound quit working. The uh, IDT HD audio codec, the built in speakers on the computer no longer work. Sure, I can downgrade to the crappy one size fits all high definition audio device codec, but then I'll have speakers that don't really play loud at all and the built in mute button doesn't work as intended and stuff like that. You know, something that was not broken is now broken. And also sometimes when I lock the machine, it doesn't do it all the time. And of course, it's probably not going to do it because I'm filming. But instead of showing this lock screen with the time and date, it will just show my name and it will be asking for my pin. As if I tapped a key, right? You know, as, as if I you know, tapped the mouse or tapped a key, it would show this as soon as I Windows key L and lock the machine. And this has happened on multiple machines. So yeah. You have had have had this problem. And get this, I've had lots of other various problems with the OS as well. So you're looking at the TV box slim. It's another machine that has Windows 10 1809. And when I put Windows 10 1809 on that machine, I noticed right away that there was a problem as soon as I started using the machine. Every time I rebooted the system the USB remote infrared receiver would not function. It would not it would not line up or anything like that. I would have to manually reach up there, unplug and replug in the USB cable to it to get to function. I did remedy this by swapping out the module for a different one that I had. Which is kind of hard to see because it's dark in here, but uh it's now plugged it's now the little bitty one that's plugged into the USB port on the front. I took it off of the T-Box number 3 or T-Box Cube and I just swapped these two around because the T-Box Cube has 17, no excuse me, 1803 and it works fine with the, the other one works fine with that. But still, that that's definitely an issue to note. There you have it. As you see, I just did Windows Key L and I am greeted with my sign-in. Keep in mind, this is the first time I've seen this happen as far as Windows 10. On previous build to Windows 10, this wasn't a problem. I didn't have this problem before, but now all of a sudden I have it with Windows 10 1809. The next part of this video brings us to the Mid-Tower Deluxe. And that time it worked okay, but like I say, Sometimes when you go to lock the machine, you're greeted with the uh, you're greeted with that. So I'm not gonna keep trying over and over again, but it does do it on this one sometimes. But uh, yeah, there's other issues I've had besides that. Now here's something that no longer works properly. I want to go to import photos and videos off of an SD card. Used to be I would go in and select my device, select import. I'm going to show you all the options I have set up. I have everything set up to where it goes, where images go to a certain folder, videos go to a certain folder, and then I have this set to default, this set to default. I'm going to select that. 
But watch what happens when I, uh, when I import photos and videos. So th this is all videos, I believe. So you see right here it says Open File Explorer after import. So essentially it's supposed to open an Explorer window showing you this stuff you just imported. But watch this. Watch what happens when I go to import. So now it's erasing. And instead of opening the uh, folder where it imported to it, it just gives me a blank libraries window. Isn't that wonderful? So like, what's the point of opening Explorer when you just have to go navigate to uh, the folder that you imported to? Again. Never happened, never had this happen before until when it's 10, 18, or 9. Now, one machine I haven't had too many problems with is a Plexi. And it too has 1809 installed. But then again, the thing I primarily use the Plexi for is just for doing stuff in here. Just basic internet searching, doing file backups, imaging, and stuff like that. So, I guess I haven't really noticed any problems yet with this machine. But, the problems I did have, as I mentioned, the first time, or I mean, the, the problems I did have... I started having after upgrading to Windows 10 1809. So, yeah. The Windows 10 October delay to November 2018 update is, I guess, what can call the new Windows Vista or the new Windows ME. Such a wonderful operating system, you know. I just can't wait till next year whenever they release a new version. Hopefully, it won't be buggy as all get out. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well guys, that's it for this one, but it doesn't have to be, there's plenty more videos on the channel to check out. Also, if you liked the video, please click the like button, and if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel, I definitely appreciate it, and remember to click the bell so that we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel, it's CubeCompMTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, bicycling and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for your support.